In this video I will be creating a provisioning package using Windows Configuration Designer and I will also use Winget for the software provisioning. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video and I will leave the URL in the description down below. And here you can see all the objectives for this video. The main one is to install the software list that I have here. And like I said before, I will be using Winget for the software provisioning. And also I'll be skipping out of the box experience, creating a user admin without a password, adding admin to administrators group, skipping privacy experience and privacy experience is this screen right here that we get after creating a user account and logging in for the first time. And also I will be disabling sleep for the monitor and the computer. And in the end, the full solution will look like this. Basically I will have two stages. One of them is for Windows Configuration Designer and second one is for Winget software installation. And here in Windows Configuration Designer stage, I will be preparing Winget for the software installation. And by preparing, I mean that I will be placing few Winget update files in C program data provisioning folder on the client machine. And I'm updating Winget because I had a lot of issues when using older versions of Winget. And after updating, we can use this package with Windows 10 and Windows 11 without any issues. Also, I'll be placing provisioning PS1 script in the same folder and I'm using this script to execute Winget and few other actions I will show you later in the video. And also I will be configuring run once in local machine hive to execute the script that will execute Winget. And after that, I will be configuring auto logon. And for that, we need to skip out the box experience, privacy experience, and then creating a user admin without a password and then add admin to administrators group. And also after that, I will be disabling sleep for that computer. And that's it for Windows Configuration Designer stage. After that, the provisioning script will start and it will start Winget stage. And here we'll be updating Winget. Then we'll be waiting for the network connection because we don't want to start software provisioning before the internet connection is available. And after that, we'll be starting installing our software packages. And that's basically it. Now I'll begin this video by downloading all the necessary files for this provisioning package. And I will start with winget update files. And for that, I will use the link that I have here that brings me to the Microsoft documentation page. And as you can see here, we have a PowerShell script that is installing winget. And we don't care about the script, but we need the files that it, it is using. And to get the files, you can see we have three invoke web request commands and the command has this URI parameter. And here we have the value. So basically we need only to go to this value to start the file download. So I'll select the value and then I'll right click and select to go to that value. I mean that URI. And then I will do that for the second link. And then for the third one. Basically we need three files for winget update. And then I will go to my downloads folder. And as you can see, I have all the necessary files for updating Winget. And now we need a few more files from my GitHub page. So let's go there. The first file is setup PS1 that I have here. I will click on it. And as you can see, it's a very simple PowerShell script. Basically here I'm creating a provisioning folder in C program data folder on the client machine. Then here I'm moving all the files from the provisioning package to that folder and after that I'm configuring run once in local machine hive to execute the provisioning script. So I'll download the file by clicking this button right here and go back to the github page because here I have another script provisioning ps1 I will click on that one and as you can see it's also a PowerShell script a bit longer but it's also a very simple one. Here we're executing the update for winget after that, here we're checking for the internet connection because we don't want to execute the software installation using Winget because it will not be able to grab the installation files if the network is not available. So here I'm pinging Google servers and after that, if I'm successful, I'm launching the software installation and if I'm not, I'm sleeping for five seconds and trying again. And this will happen until the computer will have available internet connection. And here we have the software list that I will be installing in this video. And in this list, we have this scope parameter. Basically here we need to specify if the installation is machine or is it for the user. Machine type installation is where we install the software and that software is available to all the users on the computer. 
and the user installation is where we install the software and it's only available for that user who installed the software. In most cases, we want for the installation to be machine-wide installation. And depending on the scope, we're executing this line or this line. And after all the software is installed, we're writing all done and then reading host because this prevents a PowerShell window from closing so we can see the output from the software installation. And to download this file, I will click on the button right here and go back to the downloads folder. And as you can see, now we have all the necessary files for this provisioning package. And now we can start creating the provisioning package. And for that, I will go to my Windows Configuration Designer. I will click on File, New Project. I will name the project Package and click Next. Next. Here I will select all Windows Desktop Editions and click Next once again. And then Finish. Then I will expand runtime settings and then I will go to provisioning commands and I will expand it. And first let's configure the Winget update and the execution. So for that, let's go to device context. Let's click on it. And here we need to specify the command line. Basically, we need to execute the script that will be configuring the files and also configuring the run once registry key. And for that, I will go back to my GitHub page. And we need the line right here that is executing the set of PS1. And I will paste it here. Then let's click on command files. Here I will click on browse. And then I will go to my downloads folder. Then I will select all the files because we need the winget update files, the provisioning script, and also the setup script. I will open them. And as you can see, we have all the locations here. Then I will click add here. And as you can see, all the files appeared here. And before configuring anything else, let's create a package and let's see how Winget works without everything else. So for that, I will go to export provisioning package. I will click next here, next, next and build. Then I will click on the output location. And here we only care about the package ppkg file. So I will copy it. Then I will go to my VMware workstation where I have few virtual machines. I will go to this one and I will move the package to this virtual machine's desktop and I will execute it. And now let's look around and see what happened. First, I will go to File Explorer and to see Program Data folder. And as you can see, the provisioning folder appeared here. Here we have all the necessary files to update Winget and also we have the provisioning script that will execute the update for Winget and also execute the software installation. So everything seems to be fine here. Now let's go to the registry editor. Click yes. And then let's go to local machine, software, Microsoft. Then somewhere here we have Windows, then current version. Then somewhere here we should have the run and run once registry keys. So here we have the run once registry key. As you can see, it was created successfully. It's called execute provisioning. And here we have the line that will execute the provisioning script. And this uh, registry entry will be deleted after the PowerShell script will be executed. So the setup seems to be successful. And to trigger the execution for this provisioning script, we need to sign out from our user account. And then we need to sign back in. And as you can see here, we have our software provisioning started. The update was almost instantly done. And because we have the internet connection, the software installation has been executed. So everything seems to be working just fine, but it looks a bit messy. And now that we see that Winget is working just fine, we can go back to the configuration manager and continue creating our package. So now let's go to primary context and let's select command. Let's go back to the GitHub page so I remember the steps that we need to perform. Oh, the first one is skip after the box experience. So for that, we need to go to Ubi, uh, select a desktop. And here we can, for hide Ubi, select true. This will skip out of the box experience. Then let's go back to the command. Let's see the next step. And it's uh, creating a user admin without a password and then adding admin to administrators group. 
So we can use the command that I have here. It's a single line, but it's two commands. The first one is creating the user account and the second one is adding admin to administrators group. Let's go back here. Then let's name the command create admin. Click add here. Select the command here. And here we only need to specify the command line. So I will click here and paste in the value. Next step is to keep the privacy experience. And for that, we can copy this line. Go back here, select command. And let's name the command skip privacy. Click add, select the command here, paste in the value here. And then go back to the GitHub page. So we did this, 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 and now we need to disable sleep for the monitor and the computer. And it's the last command here. I will name it disable sleep. Click add here. Select the command here, paste in the value here. And I think we are done. So we have the command for creating administrator account, skipping privacy experience, disabling sleep. And also we have here our software provisioning and also skipping the out of the box experience. So now let's create another package. And for that, let's go to export provisioning package. Next, 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 yes, and build. Here I will select the output location. And once again, we only care about the PPKG file. I will right click it, copy it, and then I will paste it into my USB drive that I have here. And go back to the VMware workstation because here I have a few more virtual machines. As you can see, this one is Windows 10 and this one is Windows 11. So first I will execute the script on this machine right here. I mean, execute the provisioning package. So for that, I will need to connect the USB drive to this virtual machine. So for that, I will click on VM, removable devices, and I will connect the device here. As you can see, the provisioning process has been started. And it says that we can remove the media. So I will go back to VM, removable devices, and I will disconnect the USB drive and go to the next machine. Because I want to show you that this method works for Windows 10 and Windows 11. And that's because we updated the Winget installation files. And once again, here, go here, removable devices, and let's connect the USB drive. And once again, the provisioning process has been started. Everything seems to be fine here. So let's go back to the Windows 11 machine and let's see what's going to happen here. And as you can see, because I disabled the network adapter on this virtual machine, the provisioning script is not running. It's saying waiting for network connection. And it will wait until we fix our network connection. And that means that we need to install the drivers or configure our network or connect to a Wi-Fi or whatever. So this script will wait until you fix the network connection and let's fix it right now. So for me, I need to only to connect the network adapter and now let's wait a bit. And as you can see, after the script I detected the network connection, the script started running and started installing the software for us. And as you can see, the software provisioning was successful for this machine. If I go to control panel, we can see our, all of our software packages installed here. Adobe Reader, VLC Media Player, Teams Machine Wide Installer. Well, we don't have a Teams installed because Teams installation will happen after the next sign out and sign in. Then we have Zoom, 7-Zip, Google Chrome, Visual Studio Code, Mozilla Firefox, and that seems everything. And also we can double check our power settings. Oh, the search doesn't work this way. 
So let's go here and type power here. Power options and then change plan settings. And as you can see, turn off display is set to never and put the computer to sleep is also set to never. So everything seems to be working just fine here. If I go to my second virtual machine, we can see the same result that we have the software installed and the script was not waiting because this machine already had internet connection on startup. Anyways, that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and see you in the next one.